And in this video, I'm going to show you how to add boric acid powder to the pools on your pool route to bring the boric level to 50 parts per million. And I prefer using the powdered boric acid because it doesn't affect the pool's pH. And it's also very easy to add to the pool. You simply broadcast it into the deep end with the pool running. And since no one sells the boric acid powder locally, I order my boric acid from Due to Energy. They have different sized boric acid buckets and also bags available on their site for delivery. And you'll find a link to their website here and also in the description of the video. If you're wondering why you would add boards to your pool, I have a lot of resources on my YouTube channel and my podcast going over the benefits of adding boards to the pool. And briefly, boards do two things in the pool. It's an algistat, which means that it'll prevent algae from growing. It also will keep the pH in balance. It's a pH buffer, so the pH won't fluctuate up and down in the pool very rapidly with boards in the water. And according to chemistry expert Bob Lowry, to make the borates effective in the pool, the 50 part per million mark should be what you're shooting for. And the rule of thumb when adding boric acid is about 2.5 pounds for every 1,000 gallons of water. So if you have a 10,000 gallon pool, you're going to add about 24 pounds of boric acid. And I also have videos on my channel that show you how to add borates to the pool using 20 mule team borax. The only thing to note is that when you add it with the borax, you're going to have to add large amounts of muriatic acid to lower down the pH. And I also have a video on my channel that shows you how to add boards to the pool using a premix formula like the BioGuard Optimizer. You can refer to these videos to add boards to the pool with these methods. And this is a 45 pound bucket of the boric acid powder. So you're going to need some kind of plastic container or cup and a sharpie. And now I'm going to take the Sharpie, mark the one pound mark on the cup. I'm also going to mark a two pound line also. And that way I don't have to measure it every time I go to a stop. I know where the one pound and two pound mark is. And I can add the boric acid very easily that way. And all you would need is some kind of scale. I like the food scale because you can do different units. And I measure in pounds. You can also do ounces if you like. So you can see I have my two pound mark here and my one pound mark here. So now the only thing you're going to need is to know how many gallons of water is in the pool you're adding the boric acid to. So I'm going to add the boric acid to a couple of the pools on my route and I'll show you the process I do when I add the boric acid. And before you add the boric acid to the pool, you want to test the water to make sure that the pH and alkalinity are within range. It's harder to adjust the pH and alkalinity after you add the boric to the pool. So you want to make sure you adjust it before you add the boric acid powder. And I really like the poolcalculator.com app. It's really easy to use. The first pool here is 7,000 gallons, and I'm going to get it to 50 parts per million. You can change this here in the setting. You go to 40 parts per million. But at 50 parts per million, it says I need 17 pounds of the boric acid to raise to the 50 parts per million. And the second pool here is about 11,000 gallons. And I'm going to go ahead and enter that amount here where it says volume. Again, that's all you have to change here to get the amount. It's set at 50 parts per million still in the app. And that means I have to add 26 pounds of the boric acid to get it to 50 parts per million. So if you had a larger pool, let's say you had a pool that was 20,000 gallons, you would have to add 48 pounds of boric acid to bring it to 50 parts per million. So you definitely would need a 50 pound bucket of the boric acid powder. So this bucket is good for these two pools. And again, the larger the pool, of course, the more boric acid you're going to need. And currently there are two ways to test the borate level in the pool. You can use the spin touch. They have a borate disc. You can also use test strips. There are different manufacturers that make test strips that will test the borate level in the pool. And so it's a very easy process. Again, you can use the poolcalculator.com app to measure how much boric acid to add to the pool once you know how many gallons of water is in that pool. Pool Service Pro, open a Leslie's wholesale account today and receive wholesale pricing on products you use every day. Leslie's Pool Supply offers convenient locations that are open seven days a week. Another great benefit of opening a Leslie's wholesale account is Leslie's referral program. Get referred to a customer looking for weekly pool service. Save time and money and grow your pool service route and become a Leslie's Pro.